close your eyes and watch your breath. As the breath comes in, know it all the way in. As it goes out, know it all the way out. Try to keep tabs on the mind as well to make sure it doesn't go wandering off. Because the mind needs to be trained. If it's not trained, it's like having an animal in your house just not trained. It creates messes all over the place and basically takes over. In the same way with your mind, if the greed, aversion, and delusion are not tamed, they're, they're like animals in your house. They take over everything. They leave a mess, but then they're not responsible. They don't take responsibility. You're the one who has to clean up the messes. So here we are. Your greed is pulling you one direction, your anger is maybe another direction. You have to say no. Sometimes it's not any of those. It's just plain delusion. You don't know where you are, what you're doing. You make up your mind to do one thing and suddenly you're off doing something else. You've got to keep an eye out for that. that the mind will wander off and will have its tricks in wandering off. So you have to see through them. If you start having a sense that the mind is not 100% fully with the breath, okay, look more carefully at the breath to see how you can make it more comfortable, more interesting, a better place to stay. And that we can head the mind off at the pass. In other words, you see the trouble coming and you prepare for it. Otherwise, we sit here, everything is perfectly fine, then you're off someplace else thinking about something else. And you wonder, how did that happen? And you begin to wonder, if you can't trust your own mind, who can you trust in this life? So you've got to make the mind trustworthy. You've got to tame it, train it. So it's useful to have around. In other words, it, you make up your mind what's really good, what's really worthwhile in life, and then you can really stick with it. So start with something really simple like the breath. If you can learn how to stick with this, then you can find you can stick with a lot of other things more easily as well. It requires mindfulness, the ability to keep something in mind, and alertness, watching what you're actually doing, and then a quality that the Buddha calls ardency. You try to do it really well. After all, this is your mind. This is your most precious possession. All the other things in life have meaning only in the extent that your mind is well trained. Otherwise, that you can get good things in life and the mind can shred them to pieces. Bad things come and things are even worse. But if the mind is well trained, it can take anything, good or bad. To change the analogy, it's like having a cook. It can take all kinds of food but make something good to eat out of it. If he sees something is spoiling, he knows what to do with it so it doesn't spoil and, and harm your digestion. Once the mind is trained, then even when loss comes in life and when un other unexpected and unpleasant things happen, you don't have to suffer. You can turn everything into dharma. And that way it's all of, a use, all of use to the mind. So it's important that the mind gets trained. Once the mind is trained, everything else falls in line. So make sure this is something you do every day.